The precautionary principle or precautionary approach to risk management states that if an action or policy has a suspected risk of causing harm to the public or to the environment, in the absence of scientific consensus that the action or policy is not harmful, the burden of proof that it is not harmful falls on those taking an action. The principle is used by policy makers to justify discretionary decisions in situations where there is the possibility of harm from making a certain decision when extensive scientific knowledge on the matter is lacking. The principle implies that there is a social responsibility to protect the public from exposure to harm. When scientific investigation has found a plausible risk, these protections can be relaxed only if further scientific findings emerge that provide sound evidence that no harm will result. In some legal systems, as in the law of the European Union, the application of the precautionary principle has been made a statutory requirement in some areas of law. Regarding international conduct, the first endorsement of the principle was in 1982 when the World Charter for Nature was adopted by the United Nations General Assembly, while its first international implementation was in 1987 through the Montreal Protocol. Soon after, the principle integrated with many other legally binding international treaties such as the Rio Declaration and Kyoto Protocol, Origins and Theory. The term, precautionary principle, is generally considered to have arisen in English from a translation of the German term Vorsorgeprinzip in the 1980s. The concepts underpinning the precautionary principle predate the term's inception. For example, the essence of the principle is captured in a number of cautionary aphorisms such as, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, better safe than sorry, and, look before you leap. The precautionary principle may also be interpreted as the evolution of the ancient medical principle of first, do no harm, to apply to institutions and institutional decision-making processes rather than individuals. In economics, the precautionary principle has been analyzed in terms of the effect on rational decision-making of the interaction of irreversibility and uncertainty. Authors such as Epstein and Arrow and Fisher show that irreversibility of possible future consequences creates a quasi-option effect which should induce a risk-neutral society to favor current decisions that allow for more flexibility in the future. Gollier et al conclude that more scientific uncertainty as to the distribution of a future risk, that is, a larger variability of beliefs, should induce society to take stronger prevention measures today. Formulations Many definitions of the precautionary principle exist. Precaution may be defined as caution in advance, caution practiced in the context of uncertainty, or informed prudence. Two ideas lie at the core of the principle, an expression of a need by decision-makers to anticipate harm before it occurs. Within this element lies an implicit reversal of the onus of proof. Under the precautionary principle it is the responsibility of an activity proponent to establish that the proposed activity will not result in significant harm. The concept of proportionality of the risk and the cost and feasibility of a proposed action. One of the primary foundations of the precautionary principle and globally accepted definitions results from the work of the Rio Conference, or Earth Summit, in 1992. Principle number 15 of the Rio Declaration notes, In order to protect the environment, the precautionary approach shall be widely applied by states according to their capabilities, where there are threats of serious or irreversible damage. Lack of full scientific certainty shall not be used as a reason for postponing cost-effective measures to prevent environmental degradation. The 1998 Wing Spread Statement on the Precautionary Principle summarizes the principle this way. When an activity raises threats of harm to human health or the environment, 
precautionary measures should be taken even if some cause and effect relationships are not fully established scientifically. The Wing Spread Conference on the Precautionary Principle was convened by the Science and Environmental Health Network. The February 2, 2000 Commission of the European Communities, Communication from the Commission on the Precautionary Principle, noted that, the precautionary principle is not defined in the treaty, which prescribes it only once, to protect the environment. But in practice, its scope is much wider, and specifically where preliminary objective scientific evaluation indicates that there are reasonable grounds for concern that the potentially dangerous effects on the environment human, animal or plant health may be inconsistent with the high level of protection chosen for the community. The January 29, 2000 Cartagena Protocol on Biosafety says, in regard to controversies over GMOs, lack of scientific certainty due to insufficient relevant scientific information, 